What's going on, everyone? Today, we're going to be watching and reacting to Fallout Season 1, Episode 3, which is titled The Head. Obviously, we're referring to the target's head. Uh, let's, just, let's just jump right into it. I'm loving this series so far. It's fantastic. There's pretty much been no problems with it for me. And uh, excited for the, you know, last, what, six episodes? I think there's, I think there's eight episodes. So we're, we're getting through it. We're getting through it. Slowly but surely. Uh, so yeah, if you want to see the full cut reaction, that'll be my Patreon. I'll link to it will be in the description down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Let's watch. The beginning? Are we gonna get some flashbacks? Oh shit. Please, sir. Please, sir. Please. As an old Mexican eulogy, feo, fuerte y formal means he was ugly, strong, and had dignity. Well, Joey, I'll give you two out of three on that front. He's definitely like filming for something here. This is definitely a... Am I right? Yeah, this is... Do I really is... have to kill him? Wait, what? what? Yeah, I, I know it. I knew it. I knew it was going to be a... Because that's... They kind of played it off as that from before. Um, Like, he was like kind of a celebrity, you know? I got to talk to you about these these new pages, you know? I mean, I, I, I'm the sheriff, right? Well, why can't I just arrest a guy like I normally do? And that's what I do. The audience. Coop, right. yeah, they already know you're a good man. They want to see that even a good man as yourself can be driven. Yeah, I understand that. That's not... <laughs> this reminds me of uh, the way Mark Hamill talks about uh, Luke Skywalker, and he's when he was kind of angry how they handled his character in the Last Jedi. Are you gonna save any of that grape taffy for the rest of us? It's not grape. It's lavender. I think he's gonna end up having his uh, daughter with her. I'm assuming. <laughs> oh, that's the worst thing I've ever put in my mouth. Horrible. Taffy? Um, we gotta ask your mother. Oh, it wasn't... Okay, so she's not his uh, biological kid then. Oh, sorry. Oh, wait, they are together. Wait, <laughs> never mind. It felt like this was their first time meeting. Okay, maybe that is... Maybe that is... Uh, maybe she is his biological kid, I don't know. Costume change for you, Mr. Howard. Ah. Oh, look at that. What is it? Damn. She really did it. <laughs> Come on, let's go find the rest of them. It's cool that he's got a dog companion now. One that he originally stabbed. <laughs> They're playing this song again? I think they already played this song, didn't they? Oh no, it just sounds very similar. I do like that all the music is from like the 50s and before, because that's obviously when this all happens, so the music is just gonna all be from before then. He did inject that right there, yeah. Is that what he's referring to when he said to keep my head? Or is it something actually in his brain itself? Or is it just the... A tracker? Right in his nose? Smart as a bug. Why are you petting it? Like, go <laughs> you don't have to do all that, Lucy. Night Titus. This is Night Titus. <laughs> this is Petty Officer Short Sight. You missed your check in. Damn. We were attacked by an abomination. My squire, he fell in battle. He died with honor and glory. <laughs> and glory? <laughs> no. Oh, shit. Cost you five caps. So yeah, caps are their currency, right? I, I, I knew that from last episode. They talked about it. Like bottle caps? Yeah. Oh. Dentist. It's extra if you do it fast. <laughs> Did he give them his teeth? <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> Step away from the armor. <laughs> I mean, he still has like military level training, and these guys don't. But it's also five against one. Damn. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> a toilet seat? Damn. 
Damn. <laughs> he just needed some weapons. Oh. He's so close. He's like, he's in it. He just needs to turn around and actually fully get in it. Oh, shit. Oh. Dude, I want him to do that so badly. <laughs> Holy shit. I mean, it's fucked up, but you have to gotta do what you got to do. Also, they are delivering the other guy, the squire. Yeah, as long as he stays in the suit, they'll never know who he is. Knight Titus, I am Thaddeus. <laughs> and I'm honored to be in your charge. <laughs> My lord, am I... Said something wrong. I do not know what I've done to offend, but I beg for mercy. <laughs> God damn. The way they like worship the knights. I don't do anything. He likes it though. <laughs> the rise must swear and clean this. Oh, come on. Don't don't be just as bad as the other guy though. Come on, be, be nicer. I'm sure he will be. I also bring new orders from the Elder Cleric. We're not the only ones in search of this remnant from the old world. The Elder Cleric says, whoever gets the target will control the wasteland. Oh shit. We are to kill whomever stands in our way. Okay, interesting. Hollywood, Hollywood Boulevard. It's so cool how they're literally in LA. Like, you know, that's, it's crazy because obviously it looks nothing like LA anymore. A sea creature? Good thing she wasn't on like a boat or something. Oh! What the fuck is that? So it can leave the water then. Good thing she put the tracker in. Oh, come on now. Is it gonna be. Oh, I knew it! <laughs> Again. Damn. Where is it? The head. Dude, he is ruthless. I lost it. If I was her, I would say I don't really care about the head. You can have it. Just I'm trying to get to someone and I need it for a bargaining chip. Or I wouldn't know because then he would know. Oh, because you know, she has to give it up to them. A gulper got it, huh? I don't know. I don't know what she'll do. A gulper? Oh, we're back to vault. 33. I'm being reassigned. The whole opening the vault door for Lucy thing didn't sit too well with the council, so. You know why you're in here? Because I helped my sister escape the vault. Escape? You and Chet put your sister in incredible danger by helping her out that vault door. You could have gotten us all killed. These vaults are impenetrable, meaning those raiders could only have gotten into vault 32 because some bonehead opened the door to the surface. I get it, but uh, it's her father and his father. Telegram with the overseer at vault oh, so the three vaults are together. Okay. They have their own little system. Punish me with a demotion, I guess. You've worked janitorial. You've done kitchen duty. Are you aware that at every job you've been assigned to, your performance review has been lax enthusiasm? <laughs> I'm just glad to hear that we punish people down here for breaking the rules. Is that just for vault dwellers or for people who come down here and murder vault dwellers? Damn. <laughs> Now that I think of it, we've got a job for you after all. What is that? Is this the prisoners? Oh, are these the leftover uh, raiders? I guess some of them were like the ones that were knocked out and stuff. They weren't killed. There is a utensil. Eat your fucking heart! Damn. It's interesting because the um the raiders that came down there they didn't even go back for their other people. They just said fuck them. We're just gonna leave. Keep looking. On my honor, sir. I will find you. Fuck! Damn! Ooh! My apologies, sir. I know you wanted an apple. I think this was him? Oh. <laughs> they left the body. It must be worthless. Yeah, yeah. His head is what's valuable. We yep. need to find it. He, ca he catches on quick. He catches on quick. The girl or the ghoul? The ghoul. Definitely. <laughs> he doesn't think she'd be capable of doing that. Well, she did do it. 
This show's so good, man. My dad, he, he's an overseer. Oh my god, he's using her as bait. What the fuck? Damn! Holy shit. Torture is wrong! They used to do these things called studies. Anyway, it's one particular study. Oh, the radiation's real bad in that water. Torturing a person don't do shit. It made sense. I mean, a man hurts me, I wouldn't want to do him any favors. <laughs> and yet the practice of torture failed to vanish from this earth. In fact, yeah. I personally noticed a, a decided uptick. What the hell? You asked me them studies, I was right. Torturing a person don't do shit. Then why? Why are you doing this? Well, I ain't torturing you, sweetheart. I'm using you as bait. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> I thought that from the beginning, to be honest. I wasn't, I didn't think for a second he was doing this for torture. Oh my God. <laughs> that thing looks terrifying. Oh shit! Oh. Holy shit! It's so pink! Oh my god! Oh. It almost bit off her foot. Even the dog's getting some bites in. Oh, that did it? <laughs> Fuck her. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have just let you use me as bait in the poison river. <laughs> you can't treat people like this. Yeah, why is that? Do unto others as you'd have done unto you. You don't give a fuck. You got time. No, 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 no. Stop. He's just gonna do it again. What about the head? I need the head to get my dad yeah, back. Yeah, well, the wasteland's got its own golden lead. <laughs> now, shall get sidetracked by bullshit every goddamn time. <laughs> what about the dog? He ain't mine. Oh my god, I love these characters. They're so well written. They stay perfectly work off of each other, too. Sorry, I've been derelict to my duties here. <laughs> Damn. What are you doing? Just refilling your water bag so you can stay hydrated. <laughs> but you uh seen some things huh being a knight that suit can't be comfortable like just being in that you're a uh, former squire how did he die you knew him yeah I, I did oh shit he was a good guy wait did we see this guy back in episode one we might have i just don't remember to be honest me and the other guys used to be pretty hard on him I'd like regularly beat the shit out of him does maximus recognize this guy People at the base, they used to beat the shit out of me all the time. Damn. This shipment of new recruits came in, and uh, one of them was Maximus. So it's a funny idea. What if we beat the shit out of that guy instead? Wow. I just wish he lived long enough to find someone else to beat up, you know? Only seems fair. Damn. Uh, I feel bad. Don't feel bad. It's like you said, it's the law of the wasteland. I like that scene. Honestly, I, th I feel like you can trust the squire enough. I don't know, maybe not, to like reveal that it actually is Maximus in there and tell him what's going on. Uh, probably not a good idea for him to do. But does that mean he's like sleeping in this suit too? Like, I don't know. And here we are with 16 highly violent individuals incarcerated in our temporarily repurposed reading room. It's an ethical dilemma like nothing we've dealt with before. Just treat them as prisoners, I guess. You can't really let them out. The fact remains, we need to decide what to do with these prisoners. And that is a decision that we need to make as a collective. If they did let them go and they just kept the vault door shut, I mean, I don't know. The young man Woody interrogated this morning? He left an impression on me. That is the gentleman who showed me his butthole. <laughs> yeah, what I took from that is a desire to communicate. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's what that guy was doing. Given our recently dwindled numbers, the most ethical solution would be to rehabilitate the prisoners and then integrate them into our vault society. That's not, I don't know. That sounds really difficult, but maybe morning, eventually, I don't know. Years. Yeah, okay, maybe. 
I can teach the Raiders Shakespeare. I don't want to be insensitive, but I think Shakespeare might be too advanced for these people. <laughs> I'd be happy to teach them introductory calculus. Is there something you'd like to say, Norm? I don't know. I don't think it's our job to help these people. They're murderers. They didn't know any better. And how could they without a formal education? The hard truth is we can't just let them go. They have intimate knowledge of our vault security. That is true. So what do you propose we do? She wants to kill them all, you can tell. <laughs> we can do what they would have done to us. Wow. Damn. <laughs> but I think you would agree that murdering these prisoners of ours is not under serious consideration. It would be, it would be tough, yeah. It was not my intention to question your leadership, Overseer. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> they're all the overseer, I guess. The water chip is destroyed. The vault only has enough water to keep our population alive Shit. for two months. Two and, months? And that's not accounting for the prisoners. Okay. And that's not accounting for them. Yeah, I think Norm might be right. They might have to kill the prisoners. <laughs> what, they what do they have? They can't feed them all that or give them all that water in two months? They need to fix that. Drink our own urine, I heard someone say. He killed my husband. <laughs> You're right, you know. If your father were here, he, he'd do the right thing. Damn. Yo, all these characters are so good. Something I really like about the show is that we keep seeing the same location again and again, just from different characters' perspectives. Dude, they're gonna get attacked by this thing. Oh, shit. <laughs> if you let me lead the charge! I'll leave the charge. Get back to shore. But sir. Go. I like this. This is like a uh, a parallel to the scene with the bear, but this time he's he's taking he's taking charge. <laughs> oh, holy shit, dude! It's like a giant salamander. Oh shit! Uh, he's going straight for him. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> oh, he's gonna get eaten. He's gonna get eaten. He's gonna get eaten. Oh! And it's it's gonna uh, the heads probably came out right. There's the head. The head's looking gross, man. The head. Dude, I love I love the suit, man. It's just the the, the voice, and everything. Oh, it's so good. Damn. Sir, sir, please. I need water. Oh, come on, man. He's such an please. asshole. Water, water everywhere, not a drop to drink. <laughs> That's a damn good quote. Is that what happened to you? Radiation? Something like that. Yeah, I want to learn everything that happened to him. Like, what, what got him buried in the ground? What got him to live this long? You know, like, there's so much to this character that we don't even know about yet. Damn. Yeah, so that... That thing, that's it was inspired by him then, right? Because he get the he did the thumbs up. Apparently, the the suit he wore that before too. It must be inspired by him. Yeah, so they were preparing these vaults for a while, I guess, right? Even before the bombs dropped, they were just preparing for it, probably for ages, right? What if I do were to do like a thumbs up? Go for it, Coop. <laughs> this is when the thumbs up first started. Another banger episode, man. This show is fame. Fantastic. I'm just I don't know what it is man. They 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 knocking it out of the park with this stuff just in terms of I mean there there's not been a single moment where it felt like anything's been cheaply done. Everything just looks very much high. This is high production value there. Even the CGI and that monster this episode that looked fantastic. Uh the just set pieces have all been fantastic. They've all fit the theme of the show very well. They all look really real. None of them look fake. None of them feel like sets. They all look just like real parts of life. Characters are great. The dialogue's been great. A lot of the, the like parallels they've been doing with some of these characters have been fantastic. They, they did it with a couple different times in this episode, and I thought all of it was fantastic. Um, 
I feel like every moment means something because every moment has some sort of purpose to it. And we still have five more episodes. Like we've already been through a lot of story so far and it's only been three episodes. There's so, so much more information I'm curious about. I really liked the stuff in the vault this episode with Norm. That was really good. That was a really interesting little story there because obviously there's a big dilemma. It's a very popular dilemma in a lot of apocalyptic uh, you know, shows and movies where you have prisoners and you don't have a proper you know, judicial system with a prison and stuff like that. You don't really have proper resources to take care of prisoners. So what do you do with them? It's a pretty popular dilemma, but it's an interesting one. It's a one that they definitely uh, got to figure out. And I don't blame Norm and that one girl for just wanting them dead. But at the same time, I do feel like that is fucked up because it's like you can't just kill people in cold blood like that. Because, I mean, obviously they've done awful things, but they're not immediately a, a threat to you at that moment. So that would be a really hard decision to make a really hard thing to do. But at the same time, what else are they going to do? You know, I said maybe they can let them free. But then I thought about that. I'm like, oh, well, actually, no, they answered in this episode. They said they couldn't do that because they know too much information about their security systems. They'd probably be able to find a way back in. And that wouldn't be a good idea. Or that wouldn't be too good for them. So I don't know. I'm not sure what they're going to do. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below if you want to watch the full cut reaction. That'll be on my Patreon. Links that will be in the description down below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Peace out, everyone.